In this video, we're going to talk about how to make a calendar in Excel. So if you go to File at the top left, and then select New, and scroll down, you'll see that Excel has some calendars that you can choose from. So let's start with this one, Any Year, One Month Calendar. So go ahead and click Create, and let's move it so that you can see it. So automatically the year is already selected for us. It's the year 2018 at the time I'm creating this video. And the first month is automatically selected. It's currently June 9th. So you can basically select a different month. So if you want to see the month of June, simply uh, select that. And notice that the first day of the week in this calendar is Monday. If you wish to change that, simply click the day that you want. So let's change it to Sunday. And with this particular calendar, you can type in things that uh, you want to type in. Let's say we're going to the gym at 12 p.m. Now, if you press enter, you're going to go back or go down to the next cell. So if you want to add something else, you need to insert a line break. So if you type in Alt, A-L-T, and then Enter, you can type in something below 12 p.m. So let's say we're going to play basketball at 2 p.m. And so you could type in anything that you need to in this calendar. And you could also adjust the background color. For instance, let's select these seven cells and then go to Home and let's suggest the color. So you can adjust the calendar to however you want to. And if you need to print it, just type in Control P and you can print the calendar that you have. Now, if you want, let's say, a different calendar, just go back to File and go to New and open up a new one. So let's go to the academic calendar. So this is basically a school calendar and this one is starting in August 2018. Now you could change the starting month. You can make it September, but you really don't need to. Let's go back to August. Now just like the other ones, you can type in anything you need to. This is one big cell. But notice that it shows more than one month. So if you scroll down, you can see the month of September 2018 and then October. So basically the entire school year. All the way up to July of 2019. So if you want to, you can print everything. Just press Control P and then you can print each calendar on one page uh, using uh, landscape instead of portrait. So that's another type of calendar that you could use. So let's see some uh, other ones that we can select. Another way in which you could find more calendars is if you type in uh, calendar in the search bar. And so you can get a lot of other templates that you can choose from. Let's choose this one, Any Year Custom Calendar. Now, automatically, it displays January 2018. But if you don't want to see that, you can just select the start month. So let's go to June. So let's type in 6. And you can see that it goes to June 2018. And you could adjust the start day of the week. And here it has the previous month and the following month. And then just press Control P. You can print the calendar the way um, it is. A good thing about this one is you can type in into individual cells instead of just using the insert line break feature. So let's say if I'm going to play volleyball at 
3 p.m. I can type that in. And then if you press enter, you can also easily type in something else uh, within that same date. So let's say uh, we're going to the gym at 5 o'clock. You could just put that in. And then if you select a different tab, you can go to the next month and so forth. And so you have a lot of different calendars that you can choose. A lot of pre-made calendars that you can print directly from Excel. And so that's it for this video. So now you know how to easily create a calendar in Excel.